Hi and welcome to Score Game. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly do your rotation during combustion as a fire mage. We're also going to talk about the Infernal Cascade Conduit and the Soul Igniter Trinket. Infernal Cascade is one of the strongest conduits in the whole game. If you don't have it already, you need to get it ASAP. It drops from Stradama in playful. So according to this text, while combustion is active, your fire blast grants you increased fire damage for 5 seconds, stacking up 2 times. Of course the damage is going to scale with the conduit item level, you should be able to farm a 200 item level Infernal Cascade easily from Mythic Plus, and that's going to give you around 25% extra damage while fully stacked. What this text doesn't tell you is that when you have one stack of the buff and you use another fire blast, and you add another stack, you're also going to reset the timer for the first stack. And if you have two stacks and you use a fire blast, before the buff expires, you're going to reset both stacks to 5 seconds. Why is this important? Well, because during your combustion, you want to always have two stacks up all the time. And in order to do this, you have to use all spells in a certain order. Before we talk about the rotation, I want to talk a bit about the Soul Igniter Trinket that you get from Sun King Salvation in Castle Natri. This is a really good trinket for fire mages, when you activate it, it's going to drain some of your health and when you reactivate it, it's going to do fire damage in a cone in front of you. The longer you wait before you reactivate it, the more damage it's going to deal. It's going to reactivate itself after 15 seconds, so you don't have to worry about doing it yourself. Ok, so why do I want to talk about this trinket? This trinket doesn't scale with drawn of power or with combustion. I'm going to use it here so you can see how much damage it deals if I instantly reactivate it. And now I'm going to show you how much damage it deals if I use it during combustion. The exact same damage. As I said the trinket doesn't scale with enough power or combustion. But the trinket actually scales with infernal cascade. So you should still try and use it during combustion. As you can see here, I use it after I applied 2 stacks of Infernal Cascade and it deals more damage. One more thing that I want to add regarding this trinket is that it has a chance to crit, but the chance is not increased if you use it during combustion. Ok, now let's talk about the combustion rotation. When you start a boss fight, the raid leader is usually going to do a pull timer. When there are 10 seconds left on the timer, you want to use your Soul Igniter trinket, only once, if you have it of course. Then when there are 4 or 5 seconds left on the timer, you want to precast the Pyroblast. I'm not going to use a Pyroblast here on the video because this only applies when you prepare to do your combustion rotation before the fight starts. After you cast the Pyroblast, you want to use your intellect pot, this is of course not necessary. After you use the pot, you will start casting a fireball. When there is less than 1 second left on the cast, you will cast combustion and to fireblast. Then you cast the free pyroblast that you got together with your fireball. And you're going to get another free pyroblast after they both hit. Cast it as well. Then cast phoenix flames and another free pyroblast. And now you want to cast fireblast here. So you can reset the two infernal cascade stacks. If you don't cast fireblast here and instead go for another phoenix flame. You will lose the infernal cascade stacks so you will lose damage. And from here on you just alternate between Fire Blast and Phoenix Flame and of course you cast free Pyro Blast every time you get them. In order to keep your two Infernal Cascade stacks up for the entire duration of the combustion, you need to have three Fire Blasts before you go into combustion. So be prepared and don't waste them when your combustion is almost off cooldown. Ok, now I'm going to show you how not to do your rotation. In this clip I'm going to use all my fire blasts in the rotation before using any of my phoenix flames. I have a weak aura on the right of my character that helps me see the infernal cascade stacks. As you can see because I didn't do the rotation properly, I lost the infernal cascade stacks and I lost a lot of my damage. Up until last week I didn't understand how infernal cascade worked and this is how I was doing my rotation.
completely wrong. My DPS got increased by a lot by doing it correctly. When you fight a raid boss, there are actually two possible openings. One of them is the one that I have already shown you. As I said previously, before the boss fight actually starts, we will precast a Pyroblast. This Pyroblast has a chance to crit of course. If it doesn't crit, you do it like I have already shown you. But if it crits, you obviously don't need to use two fire blasts during the initial fireball cast, you use only one. That's pretty much the only difference. Knowing how Infernal Cascade works also helps us with our AoE rotation in Mythic Plus. Even when you do an AoE rotation, you always want to have two sticks of Infernal Cascade up. So here again I start with two Fire Blasts during my initial Fireball. Then I cast Flame Strike before my Fireball hits. Then I use Phoenix Flames into another Flame Strike. My Infernal Cascade stacks are about to expire, so I need to use Fire Blast here. I still have 2 seconds on my stacks, so I can afford to use another Phoenix Flame, I don't need to Fire Blast right away. Then I Fire Blast right before my stacks expire. And that's about it for the AoE rotation. You might also want to use Shifting Power during your combustion, but this depends on the situation. For example, if you forgot to hold 3 Fire Blast and you use Combustion with only one, you might want to use Shifting Power to gain more Fire Blast. This is going to be the end for this video, thanks a lot for watching, leave a like if it helped you in any way, ask me anything you want in the comments, I reply to every single comment. I also stream Mythic Raid and Mythic Plus at least 3 times per week, so hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified when I go live, and hopefully I'll see you guys around. Peace.